floor accommodates material sizes of up to 12 inches in width. The material length will depend on whether you are using a cutting mat. When using a 12 by 12 cutting mat, the maximum length is 12 inches. When using rolled materials that bypass a cutting mat, such as vinyl or heat transfer material, you can use materials of up to 60 feet in length. There are several guide marks on the front of the machine. This first mark with arrows is the cutting mat and material loading guide mark. You will always align the left edge of your mat or material with this mark. This will ensure that the left hand pinch roller is properly gripping the left side of your mat or material. The next few marks indicate where to set your right hand pinch roller for various material or mat sizes. This is the A4 material guide mark. This is the letter size or portrait mat size guide mark. This is the 12 inch width material guide mark. The last mark is the cameo cutting mat size guide mark. The rest of the raised lines along the front of the machine are present to help reduce friction for your material or mat as it is moving in and out of the machine during operation. They are not guide marks and can be ignored. Once you've defined your material size or decided to use the cutting mat, you can adjust the right hand pinch roller if needed. To adjust the right hand pinch roller, unlock the roller bar by lowering the lever on the right hand side of the machine. Once the lever is pointing forward, this means the roller bar is unlocked. Press and hold down the lock button on the right hand pinch roller. This unlocks the pinch roller so it can be slid back and forth. Slide the right hand pinch roller until the actual pinch roller is aligned with the desired guide mark. You should feel a small click when the roller is in a defined guide mark position. Lock the roller bar by raising the lever on the right hand side of the machine. Once the lever is pointing upward, this means the roller bar is locked. Never attempt to cut with the roller bar unlocked or with the pinch roller in a non-defined position. The left hand pinch roller is not intended to be adjusted. These two center rollers are not pinch rollers. They are material stabilization rollers. Once you have your right hand pinch roller in its defined position, you can easily slide these stabilization rollers to center them. When using a cutting mat, make sure that you have defined your cutting mat size and material size in the software. The software will then show you on screen where your material should be placed onto the cutting mat. Make sure to always match your actual setup with your on screen setup. Once your material is on your cutting mat, align the left hand side of the mat with the leftmost guide mark. With the right hand pinch roller in its proper position, the right hand side of the mat should be properly gripped. Both rollers should be gripping the sides of the mat evenly. With the cutting mat aligned properly, press the leading top edge of the mat up against the pinch rollers and press the load button or up arrow on the machine. The mat should be pulled into the machine and be ready to receive your job. When cutting materials that are fed directly into the cutting machine, make sure that you have defined your cutting mat setting as none and the correct material size in the software. The leading edge of the material should be straight across and not cut at an angle. Align the left hand side of the material with the leftmost guide mark. The right hand pinch roller should be in the appropriate position for your material width. If your material is slightly smaller than the pinch roller setting, you will need to move to a smaller pinch roller position. If the size of the material is smaller than the smallest pinch roller setting, you will need to use the cutting mat. With the right hand pinch roller in its proper position, the right hand side of the material should be properly gripped. Both rollers should be gripping the sides of the material evenly. Be careful not to shift the left side of your material beyond the loading mark guideline. Otherwise, it can obstruct the auto blade's ability to set itself. With the material aligned properly, press the leading top edge of the material up against the pinch rollers and press the load button or up arrow on the machine. 
the material should be pulled into the machine and be ready to receive your job. The Cameo 4 includes a built-in roll feeder that can be used when cutting rolled materials, such as vinyl and heat transfer. To use the roll feeder, make sure you have ample flat desktop space in front of the machine. Pull the handle on the base outward until the roll feeder is extended. Lift the roll feeder material guide until it is locked into place. Lift the roll holders on both sides of the roll feeder. Adjust the right hand roller to match the side of your roll. This can be adjusted anywhere from a 9 inch width to a 12 inch width. Place your roll into the roll feeder making sure that the roll is on the roll feeder wheels and the edges are comfortably gripped by both sides of the roll holders. Feed your material's leading edge through the material guide and then proceed to load your material as previously directed. Aside from setting up your mat or material, you'll also need to load your blade or other tool into the machine. When using the auto blade, you do not have to manually set the blade level. This will be done by the machine based on the blade setting selected in the software. If using another manual type blade, you will need to first adjust the blade setting prior to loading it in the machine. Once your blade is ready, load it by dropping it into the blade holder in the machine with the blade pointing down and the flat edge of the blade housing facing toward the back of the machine. Make sure to push the blade all the way down before locking it into place. Once seated in the machine, lock the blade by pressing the lock lever inward. Once you have your mat or material and your blade loaded, before sending your job from the software, always make sure you have enough clearance in front of and behind your machine. We hope this information helps you to make sure your machine is properly loaded and ready to send your job. For additional video help, be sure to check out our Silhouette YouTube channel.